Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to episode 4, 4, can you believe it, of our uh, Dynasty with the Iowa Hawkeye baseball team. And uh, so far it's been a rough one, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, we're now 9-19, and 19. after that game 9-20. and 20. <laughs> So it's not looking too good, we were at a point where we were, shit, almost 500, <laughs> and now it's just gone downhill we're still getting uh sponsor challenges which is nice hit a couple doubles get level one shoes for the team you always accept those and hope that you get them so i mean we're we're struggling here but our recruiting i think is going quite well i mean we're getting some big time interest here uh from some players so we'll just go through until i believe the end of the season in this um, doing some recruiting and seeing how the team does. Uh, so it should be interesting <laughs> to see uh, how we uh, finish off this year. Because, you know, you usually say there's a lot of ups, ups and downs in the season. But, you know, it seems in this season there's been a, a, lot, a lot of downs. Can't really say there's a whole lot of ups. But, I mean, there's been some, some good games, some good high points. Uh, we've had a few injuries here and there, but, you know, got to start from somewhere <laughs> to start it big, and we're starting from rock bottom, basically. So I think that should be everybody for recruiting. Back on and do another week here until Northwestern. 16 games left. So season's coming down, coming to an end. See if we can squeeze away a few more wins here. Get those doubles. I think we need two doubles. Close loss there, seven to eight. Get a W there for double digit wins on the season. 10 and 22 now. <laughs> so, got a split so far with Northwestern. We'll go back, do our recruiting. And as you can see, the interest is just shooting up with all these guys, which is good to see especially getting near the end of the season because we won't be able to talk to them. So, this is good. This is good. We're looking good here. Just got to get these bomb guys up a little bit more. Make them uh, nice and happy. <laughs> Make them want to come to the University of Iowa, play some baseball, get some W's, hopefully. Start a new generation of baseball here at Iowa. So how have you guys been? I know it's kind of that point, but I mean, there's not a whole lot of, to talk about here with regular recruiting and simming going on. Uh, it's middle of summertime. Crazy to think. About at the halfway point of summer almost. Don't have uh, that much left before class starts back up again. But, you know, it is what it is. So... Losing to Penn State now, getting wrecked by Penn State. Holy crap, we've now lost four in a row, and I think we've only won two games this whole month. <laughs> it's not looking good. Not looking good at all <laughs> for these Hawkeyes. But, man, this is rough. I didn't expect us to be this bad, to be honest with you. I knew we'd be bad, but <laughs> 10 and 25 is pretty goddamn horrible <laughs> so hopefully uh hopefully we can turn this thing around sooner than later i mean playing this bad i think the goal is to get somewhat around 500 next year <laughs> and uh especially in conference i don't think we've i think we're shitting the bed in conference play right now which isn't good we need to we need to be and i think there's 10 big 10 teams for baseball so I think we need to be in like the top 6 to make the big 10 tournament or something like that something maybe top 8 top 8 is more reasonable <laughs> I think yeah they cut out the bottom 2 and since we keep losing we look like we're going to be on our way to that bottom 2 <laughs> god damn this is oh okay we're bouncing back a couple of wins there uh, split a double header Maybe we're uh, turning this thing around here late in the season. Racking off a few wins. 
got all these guys jacked up now. See, when you send coach to scout, these guys' interest just goes through the roof. Do some recruiting package for him. Mr. Mike Wynn. Bringing, literally, bringing some winning onto the team, if you know what I'm saying. That's a bad joke. That was a really bad joke, but I, I went for it. No regrets. Get that phone call. That junior college guy. I don't know if it says on there what grade he'll be. I assume he'll be a junior, probably. Maybe a sophomore. Maybe I'll get lucky and he's a sophomore. You never know. So we're into May. The last stretch of the season. Only a couple more times to recruit. May 1st. Oh, great. What do we got here? Briggs, day-to-day. -day. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. We'll fix it, though. Just in case. I don't, it's day to day. Shouldn't be too serious. Coming off of a start. So we need a third starter. And who wants to fill that role? Who has the most stanum? Uh, he's, he's got 60, but he just pitched. Steve Bernie? Bernie? Yeah. Freshman. Or Dustin Lawson, senior. Gotta get the senior in there. He'll be fine by the time it's next start. Give him a chance. Give the senior a chance. I mean, we're 13 and 27. <laughs> Alright, back to the simming. Get Perdon't. And we lose against Perdon't. Jeez Louise. Oh, and we're getting directed out by Michigan. 29 and 13. That's ridiculous. Jesus Christ, come on. Okay, he's recovered from his injury. I just want to win like 15 games. Is that, is that too much to ask for? Okay, let's find out for season. I forgot about Haynes. Poor Haynes. Alright, Briggs, get him back active. Everybody else active. Good, good, good. Get Lofton out of there. Get Briggs back in there. There we go. Okay, so that should be all fair and square. Briggs is a freshman, that's crazy. Hopefully he'll get better. Tom Blaze is a senior and what's Crawford? He's a or Lofton's a senior. Yeah, okay. Alright, so looks like we have three games left and hopefully we can get 15 wins. Uh, okay, so we gotta win two against Ohio State to get 15 wins. Ay ay ay. Alright, what do we got here? Final week of recruiting for the quiet period. Alright, so we gotta, gotta finish it off here with recruiting. See if we can get these last last push here on these guys. And uh, get them to commit to Iowa. And they all look pretty pretty interested. Just these bottom two guys we might have to do some magic with. Jimmy Touche. Touchet. I'm going to say Touche. I think it's Touche. And then all I do is win, win, win. Mike Win. Okay. 105 points. Give uh, Mr. Gaffney a nice little phone call. See how he's doing. Damaraki. Give him a phone call. And Mr. Mansolino. Give him a phone call. Sweet. Okay, and we'll just give the rest of Mr. All I do is win, win, win. Good stuff. So there's our recruiting for the year. Hopefully those guys can all be happy. Oh shit, we passed our birthday. It was on that, th my my birthday, I shouldn't say our birthday. Uh, Thursday the 3rd, May 3rd. It's my birthday. Didn't, didn't have a game, so we didn't lose. So, gotta be happy about that. So can we get the 15 wins? No, we cannot, as we lose to Ohio State. And uh, that puts us on a five-game losing streak, going into our final game of the season. <sighs> Depressing year. Can we get 14 wins? Can we go 14 and 32? So I'm, I put all the seniors into the starting lineup. Uh, as you might be able to see there, there's a few few adjustments in there. I got Cervantes in. I also moved all the seniors up in the order to be the top four. And I got Lofton, the senior pitcher, starting. 
not having a great year. <laughs> Two and four with a 7.53 ERA. Good God. Yeah, so we're sending him to the mound against Ohio State's Przinsky, who's not doing too shabby for him. They're a B-minus team, respectable team. We're still a D-minus team, so rock those. Greetings, everybody. This Big Ten game features the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Buckeyes are 21 and 25 this year. The Hawkeyes are... Hello, everybody. Mike Patrick with Kyle Peterson as we get set for baseball here with EA Sports. Hi, everybody. It's great to be with you. The senior is darting tonight. He certainly is, Mike. He's got a four-seamer, a circle change, a slide piece, and a cutter. Sending the senior loft into the mound. We're going to start off the game here in the top of the first. Getting that easy grounder to Lou third to end the inning. Nice, easy one, two, three for Lofton in the top half. Going to the bottom half of the first now. Uh, we got Iowa wheeling and dealing with runner on first. A little uh, hit and run attempt, not going to work. Uh, this is another one of those games where uh, I had a tough time uh, finding contact. <laughs> a lot of strikeouts. So you'll see that quite a bit here. Top of the second. A little fly ball, a little flare out to right, but we got McCallan there to make the play. So nothing doing. Hitless uh, through one and one and a half innings. Got Hardy Ord. Now we got runners on. First and second, another hit and run. Swinging out a ball low there. Striking out. Another missed opportunity with runners on. Three runners left on so far. Top of the third, they got runners on the corners. Two outs. Trying to get out of this jam. And uh, sure enough, can't uh, can't get out of it. <laughs> they got a little flare to right for a base knock. So Ohio State takes an early lead. one nothing. Runners on first and second. Full count. And we'll get out of it with a grounder to Dawson. Easy routine play. So eliminating the damage to just one run. Uh, with top of the order coming up in the bottom half of the third. In the bottom half of the third now. We've got runner on first and second. Two outs. And uh, we got to have some foul balls here. You know, we're making contact. Trying to get something going, and then he just rears back and fires a fastball right by Morris. Another missed opportunity now. I believe five runners left on base uh, for the Hawkeyes through three innings. So missed opportunity so far. Full count here in the fourth. Uh, nobody on, and uh, fly out to Ryan. So nothing doing for Ohio State in that inning. Going to the bottom half now, bottom of the order. We got Devine striking out on a high and away fork ball. Still Iowa managing only one hit, but leaving five runners left on, so taking some walks. Uh, something we're good at. Base is loaded now in the fifth, and a little bit of a jam, but a grounder to Devine. Divine. So divine. <laughs> uh, getting out of a huge jam there to keep this a one run game going to the bomb half now second and third no a change up gets him early and uh, now seven runners left on huge opportunity that was there uh, but a change up fooled them for strike three so we'll go now to the sixth uh, runner on second for Ohio State and that one slips right up the middle and the runner's going to come around and score to uh, give Ohio State a little more breathing room uh, as he just gets in there before the throw. Uh, so Ohio State now 2 to nothing. That runner's still on first here. And it's going to be a nice double play for Iowa to get out of the inning, limiting the damage again to just that one run. A well-turned... 5-4-3 double play. 
Uh, so I was still still within distance here, going to the bottom half of the sixth. Only two runs, but the way uh, we're swinging it right now, it may be a little trouble. <laughs> so running on first now, 0-2, and still can't quite get it there as a ground out. So still can't manage a run. Now eight runners left on base for the Hawkeyes, and we're going to make a pitching change here as uh, he's getting into a little bit of trouble <laughs> with the bases loaded here in the seventh, bringing in the lefty and uh, throwing it to home just in case he was going for it, but they get the runner at first. Now one out, bases loaded. This one uh, is a tap that it's inside past the catcher. And a uh, wild pitch results in another run for Ohio State. Two outs, second and third. The loop to the right, but caught by McCowan. So they get another insurance run. Now three to nothing, Ohio State. So after the stretch, uh, we got the Hawkeyes. Nobody on here. And a line out to second, so can't muster anything up in the seventh for the Hawkeyes. Uh, now going towards five, six, seven for the Buckeyes. Uh, two outs here in the in the inning. Fly to McCallan. Uh, gets it off there, so an easy inning there for the Hawkeyes. Now really need to get some runs here with the heart of the order coming up in the bottom of the eighth. Runner on first. Two outs, two strikes. Check swing, but the runner was going, expecting a hit and run. Um, and he's kind of left out there to dry as uh, he gets thrown out at second to end the inning. Not a way you want to end the inning there, getting thrown out at second, down by three runs. But had the hit and run on, but clearly saw that pitch was low. And so now going to the ninth. Uh, the Hawkeyes get in a lot of trouble here in the ninth. Uh, one run comes across there on the single. Now runner on second. This is all with two outs now. A line shot down to left. Another run comes in. Limiting to a single though, but uh, <laughs> come to talk to the pitcher there. A little mound visit. So right after that visit, all right, we're going to jam them inside here, and we're really going to jam them inside. We're just going to bean them right in the leg after a nice positive mound visit. Yeah, that was real positive. The pitcher really, really took to that, and slider absolutely jammed them inside right in the knee. <laughs> so now first and second, and let's just keep tacking it on. That's a single up the middle. And they'll send him the throws wide, coming up the third baseline. Time to bring in the closer here. We're just trying to get one out. Just one out. So now first and second, see if our closer can get this last out before any more damage is done. And he can't quite do that. And a single there, get the bases loaded for him, for the Buckeyes, as it just slips by. Our uh, first baseman there to load up the bases now. And sure enough, another single is going to bring across another run for the Buckeyes. And the bait blows, lo loads the bases again. Full count, two outs, more damage to be done with the runners going on that pitch. That's going to bring two around to score. And, you know... The floodgates are open. The Buckeyes are cheering in the dugout. They're having a great time. First and second now. And finally, Morris, tough throw to first, gets to the out and gets them out of a horrific top of the ninth inning. Buckeyes now 16 hits and nine runs, getting six runs in that ninth inning. Coming down to the last out for the Hawkeyes. And they can't muster anything out of this game. End the season with a loss on senior night and end up uh, finishing the season on a six game losing streak I believe and uh, leaving nine runners or something like that on base and no runs coming across that's not going to help you win hopefully uh, next year they'll be able to change that so that's going to do it basically for this video guys
Uh, next video will be the end of the season and the off season, so it will be a shorter video. Uh, so look out for that. Thank you for watching this, and uh, we'll see if we can turn this around in the off season and next season. All right, see you guys later.